friend, I'm Butterfly here, and I'm here with another episode of Thrifting Goodies. I have to start with the carnival glass because, yeah, I got more carnival glass and I love it so much. I'm sorry. Let's start with this piece. This piece, I don't know um, the um, date or era of it, but it was just a nice little flower vase, so yeah. You can also see the original color of this was blue. I actually found out how carnival glass was made. So what they do is they made the glass normally, they put it in an oven and whatnot, and then they put this glaze on top that gives it the iridescence, and then they fire it up again. You can see where they didn't paint it here, and yeah. It's really nice. They had more at that place, but um, I can't spend all my uh, money on just carnival glass. I'm gonna be broke pretty quick if I do that. <laughs> you gotta get it one piece at a time. This piece here is another piece of that um, Harvest Grape collection in Indiana Blue. It is the butter dish. Nice and shiny and let's see water spots because that means you didn't clean it right. But yeah. I want to, I'm still looking for that darn punch bowl set. They had a punch bowl set there, but it was in the Marigold, which is the yellow. And uh, yeah, I want to get more of the Indiana Blue than the yellow. The yellow is pretty, but I like the blue better. And I want to keep closer towards that color set. Next off is jewelry. I had a number of jewelry pieces that I got. Some might be a little bit pricier than I like to spend, like this one. It's a nice little cute antique-like pendant. The antique shop that I got this and um, the butter dish at, the guy usually has the prices really high up, but he also had it on sale for about 30%, so I was like, I'm not going to argue. The guy seems pretty passionate about what he sells. He likes giving out stories, historical facts about his products, so at least there's that. It's really interesting just hearing him talk about the um, different products and whatnot that he sells. I also got these charms at another place. The lady who was selling it was saying she swears at least one of them sterling silver. Regardless or not, they are really cute and I could use this chain kind of a as a catch-all for all three. <laughs> I also got this cutesy little bracelet because, yeah, why not? Not really much to say about it. <laughs> it's not really something fancy or vintage. I just liked it. <laughs> Another purple um, pendant necklace here, but yeah, it's cute. This one looked a little bit more vintage style, and I just loved how it looked. And side note, gosh, I need to get more um, silver polish. Looks really nice, so yeah. I think I got this one for about five bucks, and yeah. Next on with records. I did get two records this time. Let's start off with the first one. Firefall. Because, yeah, there weren't too many records out there today. Uh, well, when I um, went for my thrifting run. But, um, yeah. It was in fairly decent condition for a record, but yeah. They also had the Boz Skaggs um, Lowdown, but I already have that one, so yeah. Sad, if I could have waited, I would have paid 99 cents as opposed to $5. But I saw that in a half price book, so I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> ah, patience pays off. Also, another one that I just had to jump to. I'm sorry. Ruthra Franklin, um, jump to it. I just really like this one. And yeah. It's just one of her albums from the 80s, so it's a little bit of our older stuff, but yeah. 
catchy, enjoyable, and whatnot. And finally, the games. This one was an oddity that I just had to get solely on the name. Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. I got this for about a buck. So I'm like, oh, let me try it out. What's the worst that happens? It turns out bad. I spent a dollar, so, you know, could be way worse. I just want to know how ridiculous this is. I mean, it's Dynasty Warriors mixed with Gundam. I, this can either go gloriously bad or just amazingly good. There's no in between with this. We also have Perfect Dark. Now, I did see this years ago in a Goodwill, but this was before I had an N64, much less the um, expansion pack that you had to play this darn thing with. So I passed it up. Years later, I ended up paying about $13 for this, which I guess for this isn't so bad, but you know, I kind of miss the days when you could buy a cartridge for a buck each and no one bats an eye. It's not collectible. I swear, if I see one more collectible, my gosh, it's gonna be too soon. <laughs> One more game here, and it isn't really a thrifting goodie because I didn't get it at a good price. Oh well, I guess it's a goodie to me in terms of I found it, but um, I've been looking everywhere for this game. The Warriors PS2 game. For those of you who don't know, The Warriors is a 70s, um, I want to say a 70s gang movie? Yeah, it's a 70s gang movie. But, um, it's really enjoyable. My only complaint with the movie is that it's just too short. I wish there was more time to develop the characters and whatnot, but the fights are good. The fights are good, and also the designs for all the gangs are really cool and whatnot. But yeah. Oh, and also, it's made by Rockstar, so you know it's probably going to be really good. recommend watching it. And I hope this game is pretty darn good as well. Alright, that's it for thrifting goodies. Thank y'all for watching. If you like that video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, here's a couple more. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe. Thank you! And goodbye.